It is a fantasy land that millions of people spend billions to play. Chloe loves these video games a lot. When he changes that coloring, that's when you can use the silver arrow on him. Today, unlock the secret of the zany world of video games. Script is in. There are more than 70 million of us who play home video games. Can you believe it? And many of those are kids who are addicted. But some of the games are anything but child's play. Joel Loy takes us inside Video Madness. It's awesome. You can, like, go to a whole different, like, world and still stay in your own house. The video game business is hotter than ever. With more challenging games, better graphics, and more game choices, business is booming for the big three game makers, Nintendo, Sega, and NEC. All told, they project $4 billion in sales this year, and it's not just kids who are playing. An average uh, day, I play about four or five hours a day. Whether you're two years old or 200 years old, everybody is playing them. From sci-fi to sports fans, there's something for everyone in video land. And the game characters, they've come a long way since Space Invaders. Take Sega's Toe Jam and Earl. Two aliens that um, are kind of the homeboys uh, of the planet. And they're out there doing their rapping thing, and man, it's really appealing. The graphics are hot. Some children, like my son, 11-year-old Alexander, have literally grown up playing home video games. But games haven't replaced other things. There's time for both. Well, kind of. Well, some kids, they do their, home, their homework on the bus, and they just go home and then play video games all day. We think gameplay is a good part of our everyday life. Why does Alexander play? Well, there's no one answer, but for most, it's the competition. Everyone wants to be the best. Conquer the challenge. Ah, I'm never going to get this. If you're video game impaired like me, or if you're already pretty good and you just want to get better, there are places you can turn for help. There are magazines and television shows. Today on Game Bro. I'm J.D. Ross. And I'm Brennan. Hey, high five, dude. Sorry. And even 900 numbers, all designed to sharpen your skill. Sometimes you can even get the tips game designers prefer remain secret, like this clue to make you invincible in the game Technocop. Press the start button to pause the game. Now press the C button 10 times. Then the A button five times. Next, the B button two times. And finally, press the A button another 10 times. You got all that? No? Well, if you're really stuck, you can always call these folks. They're Nintendo Gameplay Counselors. They get paid to play video games. Hours of video games. When he changes that coloring, that's when you can use the silver arrow on him. We have about 220 Gameplay Counselors who man the phones 20 hours a day, and we take about 190,000 calls per week. It's mind-boggling. This man is one of the select few who hold the secrets that every player wants to know. Being a great game player, well, it takes a certain amount of uh, hand-eye coordination. But I think the main thing is, is that you, you have a great desire or a great love uh, of video games. Rick says when you work the phones, you never know who will call for advice. I was helping uh, an 89-year-old grandmother in Dallas, Texas, play The Legend of Zelda. And she would call me up just about every single day because she couldn't get through the game. And I eventually helped her all the way to the very end of the game. For Nintendo's top game, Super Mario World, he recommends... Whenever you land on a red dot in the overworld map, that means there's two exits out of each world. And you can find a lot of hidden goodies by, uh, by exploring all these various exits. But Rick warns there's no instant way to beat Mario. It just takes practice. Over at the competition, Sega, they're touting their top game, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, Sonic has an attitude. He races around at his speed, not at anyone else's speed. Sonic is Sega's answer to Nintendo's Mario. He gives their product character. Now, it would be impossible to learn all the secrets to all the games on the market. And the pros say that if you're looking for quick answers, you're missing the fun playing. But maybe this video craze has gone too far. Well, you decide for yourself. I got a call the other day that um, an 18-year-old was saying that Sonic the Hedgehog made him forget about girls. So I, I consider that a great achievement.
Now, the latest technology in the video world is tying into CDs. That will improve the sound of these games, just what we all need. Whatever happened to climbing trees? <laughs> and Inside Edition will be back in a moment with Luke Perry in a very embarrassing situation. I'd rather be like a, um, a working actor for as long as possible. That's what I would like. Please, please stop. 